What's up everybody, Philip Bridges here once again, and I am bringing you some more new tools from Klein. Uh, today I have two voltage testers, and one is a voltage tester with a thermometer, and one is the voltage tester with uh, a pretty much a laser tape measure, so you can measure distance. How cool is that? So both of these range from about $34, I'll put links in the description below where you can get these. Right now, this one is the voltage tester and it is the thermometer. Now this will read up to negative 22 below to 482 degrees Fahrenheit and you can change this from Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, with the push of a button. There is a laser so just so you don't don't shine it at yourself but the laser it goes up to about 16 inches for the for the most accurate uh temperature reading so you could do further it's just not going to give you an accurate uh but up to 16 inches for the max for the most accurate and you can do uh as close as up to like an inch or two for accurate uh temperature reading so this is a non-contact voltage tester, so you can just test the outside of the line to see if it has voltage. I have this power cord, and all you do is you push the NCV button, and it'll start beeping. That means you have power. So when you turn this on, you hit the button, and it'll flash blue. That means it's on. So when you bring it over to a cord that has power, it'll start beeping red and it'll start beeping. And then you can hit the button and it'll shut off. Now after five minutes, this will do an auto shut off, but let's say you don't want to hear the beeping sound because the beeping sound can get annoying. We'll turn it on and then hold it for two seconds. Okay, it'll flash three times blue. That means it's in silent mode. So when we bring it over to the cord, it'll flash red and it's still silent. And then we can shut it off. And then when we shut it off, it pretty much resets it back to auto, auto mode or audio mode. So you, every time if you don't want it on, if the audio on, you don't want the beeping, you do have to silence it every time you, you reuse it. It's really nice because you can get a temperature reading of pretty much anywhere. So like right now in my shop, it's like 74.3 degrees, which is pretty cool. These are impact resistant up to about two meters. Uh, they have a seal on the back, they come with two uh, AAA batteries also right in here. They have a gasket on it so water will not get into the compartment for the batteries and pretty much ruin them. So this is pretty much, if you drop it in a puddle, it will survive. It's not a big deal. Just shake it off, reuse it. It's not a big deal. Um, has a clip so you can clip it to a pocket or on the side of your pants. This is really good if you're just going into a house and you know, you're just doing a, kind of like a bid on something and you're just going around testing uh, certain things. The display for the temperature reading, it does light up. There is a little light on there. So I don't know if you can see it. Can we see it? It does light up a little bit. So if you're in a dark area, like in a basement, and you wanna see it, you can hit the button and it will light up. Let's move on to the, this is the newer one. This is the distance uh, measure. And this is really nice too, because this will do the exact same thing as this one besides the temperature reader. This temperature reader with the voltage tester, this is the distance. Uh, measurement with the voltage tester. It's a little bit thicker, which that's not a big deal because these things are very reliable. It has the NCV button. We'll push that. 
The display is a little bit nicer too. It shows the battery life on this too, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get that on the screen. Did it, yeah, maybe, possibly, maybe next Tuesday. Anyways, it, after it shut off, it does show the, anyways, it does show the battery life on the screen and it does show that it is an NCV mode. So what this has, it has the blue light to show that the unit is on and it will have a red light. And then what this is different than this other tester is the, it has a variable beep. So the closer you get to the power source, the faster it's gonna beep. So if I get closer to this cord, we got just a little beep. Now I'll get closer and closer to where the power source is on the cord where the, the uh, hot side is. And it starts going faster and faster. See, right there. Okay, so with this unit, it doesn't have a audio mode to turn off and on the audio of the beeping, which is no big deal because I rather have it beep than, you know, it's not that big for, it's really not that big of a deal if it beeps or not. Some people don't like it, but for me, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this also has the distance. So you can go up to 65 and a half feet with this for an accurate distance. You can change the distance meter. You can change it from, if, if you're starting from the tip or you can start it from the back. So if you were up against the wall and you're trying to measure something, you can, there's two, I don't know why I can't talk. There are two ways that you can use this for measurement from the tip and from the back. And then you can change from foot to meters or from inches. You'll just hold down the middle button for the tape measure and it'll go to meters, it'll go to inches, and then it'll go to, you can do inches with fra fractions too, and then you can go to feet. So let's measure the distance from the wall to the door past you. We're going to measure all the way to your house. Okay, so what we, you want to do with that is instead of pushing the middle button, you're going to, because that will change from your feet to um, metric to uh, inches and whatnot, we want to push the red button. The, red, the first red button, the top red button is going to be the laser to shoot out distance. So put it on the back wall. We'll shoot out the laser, laser. it'll be. So we're at 24, or we're at 20, I, I can't even read this. I can, I can barely read a tape measure, but I, and I can't read this. It's 23 point, let's redo it. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days, guys. All right, there we go. 23 feet two inches and seven eighths. So that is the distance from that wall to that wall at your house. So you just wanna watch out, you don't, this has a laser, so you don't wanna shine it in people's eyes. Just be aware of that. These are pretty cool. Each one of these is pretty cool because this one's gonna be good on a job site if you're, you gotta go and measure for a room or if you're shooting across a room, and you don't really have a tape measure, you just need kind of a rough idea of the distance for a room or an area, uh, you can use this. And then, you know, this one is good for also uh, temperature readings in a house. You point it at a breaker, make sure that your breaker isn't overheating, uh, and then you can do your testing on your wires to make sure if they are hot or not. So these are really two good voltage testers uh, to pick up 
at around $34 ish and some change. Put links in the description below on where you can get these. I have two other ones of the temperature readers because I keep them, keep one in my pouch, one in my trim bag, and I have uh, one for at home. And I have got another one, and then I got another one, or I got one of these too uh, for that Klein Day sale. It's nice to have these pretty much everywhere. And if you are a homeowner, electrician, or even a contractor, it's really nice. I would pick at least one of these up, figure out which one that's gonna suit you best, and uh, keep one on hand for when you are doing demolition or wanna make sure a uh, like some electrical is hot or not. So if you have any comments, comment down below. I'm Philip Bridges. Subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.